Hi, my name is uh, Robbie Sudargo. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. And I've just completed the Awaken a Divine New Nepal Retreat Program. Um, I decided to sign up for this uh, retreat um, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's to support my wife, uh, Sylvia, and uh, we are expecting our first child after uh, quite a few years of uh, trying. And we were able to conceive. I believe that it's really partly because uh, of the Awaken uh, program. And so I just felt that I wanted to um, be here to share uh, this journey together with her. And the second reason is that um, I've been feeling um, uh, that I need to have uh, more passion uh, and to find more, um, to learn more about myself and to find uh, a deeper purpose in my life. And I've been feeling that uh, for quite a few years, uh, actually. Um, I guess um, I, I allowed um, the stresses of daily life to, uh, to get to me, uh, to the point that I just uh, wasn't happy with myself. And um, I started to close myself uh, from, from people, from uh, some friends. And yeah, I I just wanted to uh, to, uh, uh, to to better myself in that way and to uh, to help myself deal with uh, certain issues that I have in my life. So when I took the seven day retreat, um, I felt a lot more uh, positive. I think it really made uh, a lot of changes in my life. Um, I mean, to hear about more details about that, you can check my video which I made at the end of the 7 day course also. Um, but anyway, um, about this retreat, this retreat has been a really amazing experience for me. It was thoroughly enjoyable and really it was quite an eye opener for me. Um, when we first arrived in Kathmandu, um, to be honest, like I was a bit in a culture shock um, because of how the city was. Uh, like it was really dusty, and the hotel, uh, and the room in the bathroom was quite um, quite challenging, uh, to to say the least. Um, and then we started our uh, program, and we. Uh, we, we visited a few temples and also uh, an orphanage. And the visit to the orphanage, um, it was really emotional for me because um, I saw the state that those children were living in. And um, but somehow they were still uh, really happy and they welcomed us uh, really warmly, you know, and happily. And I just felt really emotional, you know, I think it really opened my heart and it makes me like want to, to help them and to uh, start thinking about helping others more. And it also makes me feel uh, more grateful and thankful um, in, in my life. Um, and then after Kathmandu, uh, we went for the main retreat in Nagarkot and I actually experienced uh, two moments uh, which was uh, really compelling and profound to me. The first one was when we did the sun meditation in the morning. At that time, I just felt like such a strong connection uh, with Mother Nature which I really never felt before. Um, and I could feel that you know, Mother Nature was calling to us, to, to me, for, for help. And um, I've been, you know, looking for, yeah, like I said earlier, um, something that I can do, uh, you know, like a new, uh, like another business or another, yeah, another business that, um, that I can be passionate about. And I think that experience really pushed me in that direction that I want to, yeah, start to do something which, uh, which can help uh, Mother Nature.
And the second experience uh, was when we did the crystalline grid uh, meditation. Um, yeah, I was just so very emotional and yeah, my emotions like just everything came out. You know, I was crying like crazy, you know, um, like a lot of shit coming out from my nose, literally. Um, but the lesson I learned is that I still have a lot of guilt in me um, that I have to uh, uh, let go and deal with. Uh, guilt towards uh, certain people, uh, to my family, but um, also more than that maybe is also to, to myself. So um, yeah, it's just something that I have to, uh, to let go. Uh, in order to, to move forward and um, I also learned that you know from the experience that I yeah maybe I prefer like a really peaceful and solitary life but I also realized that you know we live in the present you know and I yeah I have to just challenge myself to embrace people more you know. and other than that um, I also realized from experience that what will make me really satisfied in my life is is if that whatever I do helps people in, in some way so um, after Nagar Court, we went to Pokhara and Pokhara is just so cool and amazing you know it's like totally unexpected another part of Nepal which was um, it's just so awesome and uh, I met a lot of amazing people uh, throughout the retreat you know they, they really feel like truly my family uh, I think each of them have such amazing story um, and I really admire um, all of them especially some of them who has gone through so much in their lives to, to be where they are. So it, they really inspire me to, to, to make myself better. And, but on the other hand, I also want to uh, I guess send a message to, to maybe there's some others who, who may feel that you know, the struggles in their life are, are not you know, as uh, as as, uh, as challenging as others, but you shouldn't feel that way because you know each of us is different. Uh, we have our own uh, experiences, and we we are we all of us are important, you know. And we yeah we we have our own demons that we have to battle, made big or small. So don't compare with others. And the point is that. Uh, yeah, just you have to face those challenges, and um, and when it comes to like this spiritual journey, also you know, some may be more sure about it than others. But even if you have doubts, it's okay because we are humans. You know, the the point is that to keep moving forward, and really at the end of the day, um, you know, yeah, it's it's maybe it's a bit of a cliche now, but it's really to to be true to yourself you know and just be really authentic you know the answer you, you find may not be what what you like but just be true to yourself and just be really authentic so uh, I just want to end uh, by thanking uh, my new family uh, Nepal family and uh, Master Umesh and Sky who have guided us uh, so much throughout this journey um, I think you all have um, really made such a big difference in my life and I really appreciate it and thank you all.